tonight on The Deed Chicago. A broker with impeccable taste. I love this. This is great, like the way it all casts in. But with no clue how to manage a flip. Right now, you're like every neighbor's nightmare. You're that yeah. guy. He's been leaning on all the wrong people. I now have a rehab consultant working. A what? A rehab consultant. Did you walk by the pile of garbage in the backyard? Not my problem. I don't give a shit, right? And not showing up for his own investment. Wait, Nick hasn't been there? Where are you missing in action? So, no, not at all. You obviously wouldn't both me, right? But if I can teach him how to get more involved, you're obviously not afraid of hard work. No. We might just turn this train wreck around. How you doing? Oh, wow. This is amazing. He may have been born in Ireland, but Sean Conlon was made in America. I have lived the American dream. He's built a fortune in the hard-nosed world of Chicago real estate. I came here with $500 in my pocket, and I worked as a janitor. I shoveled snow. I cleaned toilets. I did anything I needed to do to scratch out a living. At night, he started to sell real estate. After I got my first commission check, I realized I was never going back to my day job. And by age 26, he was one of the top earning brokers in America. I have bought, sold, and flipped billions of dollars of real estate. There's nothing more exhilarating than taking something that's tired and run down and breathing new life into it. Now, Sean's looking out for the next generation of developers. We need help. There's no crisis we can't handle. Investing his own money. So what's your ask? Two million dollars. And years of experience. You'll see how it should be done. To help them create great real estate. It's spectacular. Wow, this is beautiful. And their own success stories. You've helped me save this. Thank you. Right. This is The Deed Chicago. 37-year-old Nick Liber is a successful realtor who owns and runs an award-winning brokerage company. I built my company from scratch. I certainly didn't come from a lot of money. I chose the industry because the exciting thing about real estate is you're actually empowering people. You're helping them invest in their future. Last year, Nick decided to branch out by getting into development. As I was seeing a lot of my clients do amazing things with flip properties, I obviously got the buzz too. I got the interest in it. And my first flip was a lot of fun. It, was, it turned out really well. On that first flip, Nick's profit was $30,000. Convinced that he could make flipping a bigger part of his business, he snapped up this brick bungalow for $211,000. Nick thought he'd pocket big money after a six-month reno, but that was 10 months ago. And Nick's renovation? It's barely started. Nick bought in a great location. Portage Park is an up-and-coming neighborhood about 10 miles from downtown. Plus, he got the property for a great price. So there's enough here to get my interest. What a wonderful street. The perfect Chicago bungalow block. And this is yours. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm the eyesore of the block <laughs> right now. So we had the best of intentions to do a beautiful two-story home, keep okay. the uh, vintage, beautiful brick bungalow. Well, you've done that, right? And you're popping it up is a really good idea. Yes, but we've hit some snags. Can I take a look? Yes, sir. So it's really spacious, I like that. It's bright, right? Definitely. The idea here was that this was gonna be a nice wide open floor plan on the first floor. Obviously one potential bedroom. I'd probably like to lose that because then, watch this, okay? Come in the door and that hits me, right? But if you knock this out and you walk in, it's wide open, right? Okay. And obviously you have a staircase in the center, so that's a very sexy focal point. So. What sort of materials are you proposing for the staircase? So, I have absolutely no idea. I may be needing all kinds of advice on materials. Did you consider a skylight up there? We did not. We did not. If you put the skylight, now you have a dramatic atrium that pops the minute you come in the door. I love that idea, the skylight. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right, let's take a stroll back. I'd like to see the kitchen. Okay. Nick's kitchen is just over 250 square feet. That's enough room for a ton of cabinetry, an island, and a separate dining area. Add some French doors at the back, and he could have a walk out to a beautiful sun deck. And if he knocks down that framing for that front bedroom, like I suggested, he'd have a wide open living room, all centered around a staircase that really pops. Buyers will love it. But he's been at this for 10 months now. So what's the holdup? 
I don't have the trade expertise and I don't have the time to be over here. So unfortunately, I put the trust in my general contractor and the contractor has basically disappeared from the job. He is missing an action. Um, he is missing an action with uh, part of my draw. How much have you paid him to date? $41,000. Yeah. And where did that go? Allegedly the framing, the original demolition, and some work that has not been done. Wow. Nick made a classic rookie mistake. He paid his contractor way too much money in advance, when really what he should have done was paid him in installments when the work was completed. He could have probably saved himself around $20,000. He's really put this project in peril. We have, for the second time now, lost a track of him completely. Twice. This is not the first time. Twice. Why did you leave him on this? Uh, I think there's some things going on in the guy's personal life. Did you keep him on because you felt sorry for him? There's something going on with the guy, and I had some compassion for that. But you're not a therapist, right? So, no. unfortunately, you can't worry about him. You should worry about yourself. Yeah. Like, ultimately, it's your responsibility, the buck right? Stops, yeah. The buck stops with me, and it's, it, it has got to stop because there's not that many bucks left. Look, Nick seems like a really nice guy, and I feel really bad for him, but he's allowed his contractor to go hog wild and take full advantage of him. He's obviously getting fired off this, your contractor. Absolutely. I now have a rehab consultant working. A what? A rehab consultant. I've never heard of a rehab consultant. OK. What so, is it? So rehab consultant is basically for somebody like me that doesn't have the trade background. I don't have the expertise to be speaking contractor. A rehab consultant? Yes. I can't be over here every day. I've got a brokerage to run. And quite frankly, Sean, I don't know even if I was right. over here every day what I'd be looking at. So what is his fee? So his fee is 9% of the total budget for rehab. So you're looking at a little bit over $14,000. Okay, so, so that's a GC fee on top of the GC fee, right? Correct. So unfortunately, I'm paying twice. I have not paid him all that yet. Obviously, having you potentially on board. How much have you board, paid him? Uh, about 9000 of that. So he's okay, still. OK, so he has most of it. He has most of it. OK, let's just say it doesn't hit schedule. Is there anything that penalizes him, or does he still get paid? At this point, he still gets paid. After Nick's contractor left him in the lurch, I think he probably panicked. And while trying to solve one problem, he created another one. Now he has handed off full responsibility for the project to some sort of middleman who gets paid regardless of whether the work is done or not. Wow. How did that happen? Unfortunately, this is rainwater that has come in over the last week. I would have assumed that someone would have put a tarp up, and I'm assuming this is now damaged. Yeah, we're ripping all this up. And I just put it down. Wow. On a bright side, it's a nice size room. This is uh, meant to be the master. I would make a proposal, though. It's dark. Even though it's a really nice size room, you know real estate, you sell a lot of it. You flood the place with light, you make money. You flood it with water, you lose a whole load of money. Yeah. What you need to do here, do you need to put a window, a Juliet okay. balcony. I love that idea. Aside from not enough light, Nick's got the layout of the top floor right. This is a big master bedroom that could be spectacular if it had some windows and that Juliet balcony. He's also planned a spacious ensuite bathroom plus two more large bedrooms at the front of the house that will share a second bathroom. And there's even more opportunity in the basement. Leave it's that a open. perfect size basement. It's big. In fact, the lower level could be the perfect space for a bright family room, a laundry, and even two more spacious bedrooms. All this would completely transform what was once a crammed 1,200 square foot bungalow into a bright, modern, and totally sellable 3,200 square foot home. So his plan is a good one. Whoa, what the hell happened here? But his execution, not so much. This was the, obviously some of the demolition. How long has it been here? Over a month. Right now, with this, you're like every neighbor's nightmare. You're that guy. It'll make them call the city, I suspect, right? Yeah, actually, uh, that is adding to my numbers. I now have several yeah. tickets from the alderman's Not surprised, office. Right? I deserve them. I don't know what else and to do except a push everybody. you have consultant that obviously has walked by this. He's, well, he's, he's very well aware of it, but nobody's doing anything. It's amazing this book gets passed so much, doesn't it? It's, uh, there's a lot of blame game, but I, I need some help. Yeah, you do. Wow. Look, I understand when you're starting out and you're dealing with contractors, it can be intimidating and tricky. But if you're totally hands off, you will get taken advantage of. And right now, Nick looks like the perfect mark. 
What do you think it's going to take to finish this? I think we've got we've got about 110,000 left on the draw. You have the construction loan, right? Yes. And then I would say probably another 50,000. 50,000 of, of you of your money to finish everything off. To finish everything in off in addition to the construction loan, right? Yes. 